All right, over here I have my Ender 3 version 2, slightly modified version with the M4 Voron extruder. And this has been my go-to 3D printer for several years now, and it's worked really well for me. Recently, I swapped out the build plate for a Wham Bam PEX build plate, and I'm really enjoying using that build plate. Now over here, I have the Creality, the newest Creality K1 3D printer. This is just the K1. I think they're calling it the Speedy. There is also a K1 Max, which is far bigger than this and has some additional features as well. This build plate and this build plate are the identical size. So I should be able to swap these build plates back and forth, no problem. Well, that's almost true. You can see at the back, there are two pins for alignment. And you can see these build plates do not have any alignment slots whatsoever. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and add them. So stick around. So when I first saw these screws and I saw the notch at the back, I thought this isn't really a good solution because we're losing a bit of build plate size. But realistically, nobody prints that close to the edge anyway. So I don't think there's a big loss. In fact, I think it's actually a really good solution because this is not something that's gonna wear down over time. All right, so here is the K1 build plate. And aside from the flanges at the front for lifting it off, everything is the same size. So all we need to do is trace these little notches onto the Wham Bam build plates. And then we can cut them out. So I think the best tool to remove the bulk of the material is going to be this bench grinder. I'm just going to protect the plate here so it don't scratch up the surface of our build plate. We should make light work of it. So I don't get much of a chance to whip out the saw filing vise. I don't file many saws these days, but I actually think this is gonna work perfectly. I'm just gonna fine tune those cuts a little bit. Okay, I've just flipped it over. I'm just gonna deburr. It's a little bit of a burr on the back side. And I'll do that for all four slots and then we're pretty much ready for a test fit.
That turned out really well. I think the grinder worked great. Now I was switching back and forth with the grinder because I didn't want to overheat this plastic too much. You see some of these areas are a little bit bubbled. And this one here, I went over it with a little bit of very fine sandpaper, just to etch the surface a bit. All right, all we have left to do is mount these and see how well it works. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to help support this channel in another way, visit the link below to my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.